They have the Nine of Cups energy as well as the Nine Knight of Cups. Hmm. I see wishes being fulfilled after patience. I feel there's been a long journey here where you were nurturing patient. Hmm. Finding a space to ground yourself. I also feel you needed time. Many of you are counting your blessings after going through strife or struggle that put you through a lot of pain. But it also brought out the best in you here with the Empress energy. I see a sense of satisfaction coming your way. You're counting your blessings, but I see more coming towards you. Mm. We have the Three of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Two of Wands in the reverse. So there is a fear of the unknown, especially when it comes to collaboration and teamwork. But here with the Four of Cups, I see you having some type of disconnect here. Mm. This could also be contemplation. You feel somewhat uninspired when it comes to something that you long for. But I feel for many of you, there is a sense of planning. And for others, there is a sense assistance coming your way. I see success when it comes to a, bit, a business partnership or new beginning. And I also feel here with the Three of Wands, you're attracting helpful people. We have the Nine of Wands here connected to the Hermit energy here, as well as the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So for many of you, your finances are not where you want them to be, but I do see a sense of balance. Hmm. So here with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, there's an imbalance between work, family, commitments. Someone may feel like there's a ruined reputation or a sense of love or a sense of life. A toxic environment you could be in hermit mode to reflect find a uh, inner peace or inner guidance you could be soul searching this is self-discovery energy where many of you could be in a space of being territorial protecting what you feel is yours but I also feel there is strength hmm. I feel there is strength where you feel there is no reward. I see you putting yourself in a safer position after confusion, misinformation, failed communication within a bond. We have the two of cups and the reverse. I feel there is an imbalance when it comes to relationship, a breakup, communication problems, when it comes to a conflict or just to agree to disagree. Hmm. You feel like you've lost yourself in something. You're trying to pick something back up. Hmm. And you're open to it. You're no longer wanting to be bound here with the Eight of Swords in the reverse. You're open to new perspectives, new opportunities. You're wanting to release to free yourself. And even if you don't know the way, hmm, you're looking forward to a new way. A new way when it comes to choices, creativity, inspiration, strength within balancing. You're very diplomatic these days. Even when things are not going your way, you try to look at the brighter side of things instead of going into discord. You have a temperance in the reverse. Hmm. So I feel like an imbalance of love and creativity are connections and stability or finances career something is off but i feel you being consistent with your effort is about to change something mm, something that is long overdue here with the nine of pentacles i see you putting in the work eight of pentacles i see you doing the groundwork within a situation you're doing quality over quantity mm. You're paying attention to the details within a situation that will bring good luck, completion, success, fulfillment here with the world card. I feel something is coming your way that you least expected. I see many things coming your way. There's a lot of transformation and change here for you that you least expected here. Where there is imbalance where you thought something was work, wasn't working out, there will be change, there will be resolution. 
I feel you could be manifesting when it comes to security, legacy, gifts, positions, opportunity. I feel you're manifesting here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. The Real Clubs is letting me know that you're also trying to heal when it comes to a community, a group, a party, or something you feel was reckless. You're very sensitive, but also very generous. I feel there's a fairness coming here where something was biased. Here with the Justice card, I feel there's fairness within truth. There's balance within accountability as well as honor, mm, equity. Justice is being served here as a balance is being created when it comes to a harsh ending here with the Ten of Swords. This could also be attached to a betrayal or something just not working out in the way that you thought it would. But I feel something that you didn't think would help you or work out in your favor is also attached to this blessing coming your way. You are not defeated. Mm. You are just in pain. <sighs> Disappointment and despair, arrogance and pride, loss, theft, wild prevention. The star is in the reverse. Something definitely changed your perspective about a situation, a choice that was made. Let's get a little bit more energy here. So it seems like a tower moment put you in a different position. Mm. This is unexpected breakdown or something was ruined when it comes to plans, when it comes to a Queen of Cups energy, where you had to be more intuitive to gain your success, happiness, prosperity, clarity, understanding, achievement, fulfillment. I feel anger is being released here with the tower. Mm. There is also chaos and a breakdown. So you detaching is also causing a ripple effect for those that didn't understand you. This is where the tower moment is coming from. Mm. Someone is very delusional when it comes to you, but I feel you're moving towards something different. For many of you, you're not even aware of this person who is holding on, but also letting go at the same time. There's division and discord. Nine of Wands in the reverse, Page of Cups in the reverse. Something has you feeling very emotional. It's attached to a tower moment where there's chaos and discord, impulsive behave behaviors where someone could be trying to manipulate a situation because they're emotionally unavailable or immature. However, I do feel due to this tower moment, you you are pushed to make a choice moving from a situation where there is turbulence to go into calmer waters here with the Six of Swords. This is definitely a long emotional journey here where you're making decisions here with the Two of Swords, Ten of Wands, as well as the t Two of Pentacles. So we have the Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles, as well as the Two of Swords, Six of Swords as well. So I see you moving from a turbulent situation where there's things that are unexpected happening. But I see harmony restored with help. Someone could also be trying to recover from an illness. Please take it how it resonates. That is not for everyone, but a, de a decision is being made. There's a truce here. You could be letting something go that is unresolved. I see you compromising to keep the peace. But I see you only compromising with self, no one else. Hmm. I feel a burden is now being laid down. This was a lot of hard work, and for many of you, it was hard work to make a choice. But I feel you needed to delegate something. You have to stop worrying about others to think about self. So it seems like you're juggling a lot of things here with the Two of Pentacles energy where you feel like you're on demand. Hmm. But I also see you moving past something that is that feels like it's weighed you down. It made you feel emotionally low, mm. withdrawn. 
You're changing your perspective, Eight of Cups, through power, skill, action, concentration. You're manifesting in a very powerful way. For many of you, you're a very powerful manifester. And you have to move on or separate your energy from something or someone to really move forward in a positive way. I feel you're manifesting when it comes to tools. Mm. A beginning where something is very significant here when it comes to a lover situation where there is a dilemma. Mm. Relationship issues, even heartbreak, through a sword's energy is coming out in the reverse. There's something here that you didn't know needed to be healed. It's coming to surface here. Even though you are call, calling a truce to something that has yet to be healed or forgiving someone who has yet to ask for forgiveness. Hmm. I feel there's something blocked here. Or there could be discord ahead. Seven of Pentacles here. This is someone who is... You are someone who is stepping into a new cycle here with the Ten of... Wow. Wheel of Fortune energy. Death card. So you are a powerful manifester here. But I feel old grief is going to cause you to accept something. Forgive something. And just move on. I feel there's ups and downs that you've been balancing or trying to juggle here with the Two of Pentacles, but dwelling on the past is just no longer going to be a part of your energy. Something is coming to an end, a death, a change, a transition. Old things are coming to a new. Hmm. Old makes way for new. A renewal, liberation, a rebirth. Eight of Cups, you had to withdraw, change your perspective, and let go to do this. I see you leaving something in the past and seeking a deeper meaning when it comes to love, heartbreak, manifestation, moving past something, and even juggling responsibilities. As many of you may feel a bit foolish about a new beginning or just being original, but I also see you pushing something in a space where you have no limits. No longer naive, I see you taking a risk that brings in a big reward. Issues and problems that are not dealt with. So, issues and problems that are not dealt with are attached to something you feel tormented by. This is something that you want improvement from. This could be manifestation, studying, financial opportunity, a new job, you being diligent and ambitious. I see a message coming your way or a new opportunity that brings stability, uh, happiness. This could also be a closure that you bring to self. This is attached to good news, page of pentacles, five of wands energy. This is conflict avoidance. You agreeing to just disagree. Wow, there's a lot going on in your energy. Something is definitely taking place that you didn't think was possible. But I feel you've been juggling so much you didn't see it. You didn't see something coming. Let's get a little bit more energy. But whatever it is, it's, connect, it's connected to this clarity. Something is vital. Something will bring satisfaction, hope, love, joy, success. One more card here, Spirit. Thank you. So it definitely seems you may be stepping into a season of recovery. You're, you're releasing something here with the Eight of Swords in the reverse as well as the Seven of Cups. We also have the Emperor Energy here. You're coming out as an authority figure, someone who is about to step into a different sense of st structure, stability, leadership. Something that is practical yet also traditional in a sense. Hmm. But it's also attached to a sense of wishful thinking. Something is coming your way that you didn't really s expect. There's a surprise here due to imagination. Hmm. Seven of Cups, there will be choices. And I feel for many of you, you're going to have to make a logical decision about something that you feel may bring you stress, but it just might lead you to abundance or a new way of thinking, a blessing. 
Let's get another deck out here. We're going to just do two tarot decks today to get as much information as we possibly can. But I definitely feel you're recovering from an uncomfortable season of understanding how things are versus how you wish things would be when it comes to a situation of responsibility, life, loyalty, love, and even a group of people where there's a lot of broken trust or confusion that overwhelmed you. And I sense the lessons you learn in this recovery of self will not only be necessary, but also your greatest lesson. Your greatest lesson of making choices and decisions, even when it hurts. Even when you feel you don't know the way. Because as you heal areas of your life you never thought you needed to heal, I see change. I see change and reward coming as a result of that. Let's get some energy here from this deck here. Hmm. I see you frugal. Well, I see you sitting in frugal energy here with the four of Pinnacles energy here. I also see 444 for those who just want to know. But I see you celebrating. Hmm. Hmm. I see you finding compassion and understanding within a situation. This could be you giving that energy or receiving that energy. Please take it how it resonates. But I see you stepping into a phase of success after being practical, logical, and frugal with your energy or your finances. I see you being recognized when you thought something was just not possible. I see a renewal. Hmm. So I see a renewal through self-evaluation, a rebirth through reflection, where compromise and self-control is given through balance and temperance. I feel the world, hmm. here with the world card, there is accomplishment through completion, but I also feel you don't feel that inspiration. However, due to progress, change, patience, balance, you pouring into self, I feel like you pouring into self, you're going to find that inspiration. I see you adjusting and communicating to find a renewal. Page of Cups energy here, as well as the Ten of Swords energy. So there is an ending here, and that makes you a little sensitive, but also very intuitive. I could see you opening your heart after going through a recovery, finding some freedom after some negative energy is relief. This is negative energy of worry, sleepless nights, regret when it comes to finances, love, choices, where you feel like your life is on pause. Nothing is really being lost, but nothing is being gained either. But I see an awakening after something has been on pause. This is you letting go. You feel like you're kind of in free for all. You feel like you've lost a bit of time. But I also feel you doing a lot of things from a very selfless space is going to bring a sense of reward to up one's energy here. This is you planning. And through planning, there is progress. Where there's sorrow, there will be forgiveness as well as healing. Mm. There's a lot of pain here where you could be distracted by your own worries, but I also see relief here with the six of swords energy. I see release as, uh, well, relief, hope, you moving on. I see you in hermit mode. Self-discovery puts you in a space of meditation, recuperation, and contemplation. This is for a swords energy where you're in hermit mode. Six of swords energy is letting me know it's a relief to be on your own, an individual, free thinker, free. And that makes space for 
emotions and relationships to grow. I see celebration through community and friendship, three of cups energy. And I also see you being recognized. For many of you, this is through collaboration. And for some of you, this is through your talents. I see you worrying about something. This could be related to finances here with the five of pentacles, but I definitely see you worrying about something, but spirit is wanting you to know there is an open door just waiting for you to walk through it. There is doubt here, but that doubt doesn't belong to you. Sorry, guys. But that doubt does not belong to you. But I feel when it, even when you're emotional and you're not really knowing which way to go, spirit is with you. I hope that is confirmation. I feel you're doing a lot. You're very generous. You feel like something is a free for all. I feel even when you have nothing, you're you're willing to give. And I feel that is appreciated by the most high. That is appreciated by the universe. And anything that is given will come back tenfold. Let's get some final energy here from this deck. So, as I said before, I feel you're going through a very uncomfortable space where you're recovering from something. But I also feel like there's some change. Hmm. I feel like change is on the rise when it comes to your energy. However, as a collective, there's areas of change and transformation that varies. Yet, there are maybe three that stand out the most, which are career, stability, and connections. Where, for many of you, this change in career or connections won't seem ideal. It won't seem like something that you want or even feel like doing, but I feel it will bring you a sense of peace. For some of you, it may seem, seem to bring a sense of anxiety for you. It doesn't, I, see, I see a sense of sadness until you realize it's only a starting point or a stepping stone for an even bigger blessing. And when it comes to stability, I see many of you making the impossible possible and since you have taken an opportunity to grow from painful or disappointing experiences where you feel you had to pay a heavy price uh pay a heavy cost for being helpful lovable or just trying to love and be loved you almost feel you almost feel like a fool when in fact you were only connected and just dealing with them I feel there's an awakening after a long pause or something is sensitive here with the Page of Cups energy. But I also feel there is a renewal. There is a renewal through planning, using patient and frugal. I sense you hmm, not being extravagant or putting something on lock will bring uh, a, a different side of you out. Hmm. Where you may find healing and forgiveness through something that is very sensitive. Mm. But I feel something that is long overdue is about to walk right up to you. So here with the Eight of Swords energy as well as the Two of Swords energy, I feel like you're being a bit in, indecisive or you feel like you don't have control over something. And with the Two of Swords energy, you feel like there's many choices to be made or several ways to get there and it could be overwhelming. You, but I feel Spirit is wanting you to feel like you have no limits. You've come so far to turn back now. There's self-doubt, there's confusion, but there's also free will. Take the free will. Move through something, move through the sorrow, find forgiveness for your mistakes, because trust me, you're thinking about it. You're thinking about how things were heavy on your heart, the mistakes you made, those who carry resentment for you, but I also feel there is a sense of awareness. You're cautious about consequences. Hmm. So you know you've made a lot of mistakes, as we all have, but I also feel there has brought you to a state of awareness. You're more cautious now. 
you know that your mistakes bring consequences. And I also feel you're searching. You're searching to improve and you're being guided to do so. Something is definitely coming out in your favor. I know that the Most High is watching you. You're definitely heavily protected. In almost every card, there's protection. There's protection through your mistakes, your worry, and even when you're not aware of what you need to be cautious of. But I also feel you're searching for empowerment, fulfillment, truth, something that is unspoken. You're wanting to heal. You're looking for opportunity. You are looking for more choices when it comes to memories, future, past and present. But I also feel the most high or your gods are not wanting you to cry over spilled milk when it comes to regret. You just need to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for what we have all done. You may feel overwhelmed. There's a sense of not finding balance, but I see priority being made when it comes to you finding peace or just being a bit more playful after feeling overworked, stressed, and imbalanced through challenges. You're determined. I see you resisting something or fighting fighting through something you're trying to be more resilient you're being resilient through annoyances competition and conflict that brings in an ending but i feel you releasing something and causes you to rise from the ashes find your way through transfer transformation where there is fairness law there will be justice there will be karma I see you finding justice after feeling like you'll never find the peace that you seek, but I feel an expansion coming your way through vision, goals, you're determined when it comes to opportunity, I see action, transformation here, I see a tower moment that brings realization, a life change, and liberation, where your wishes are fulfilled. Something is coming true, however, this growth, this reflection you have discovered or embarked on will also come with a test, a test of faith when it comes to unforeseen issues that are unresolved from a past or even in the present energy because as you walk into these new places or these situations of self, destruction will also follow as things from the past and even the present will test your healing process and your dedication to the journey, whether bad or good, as I sense these trials and hardship are only preparing you to receive more than what you've asked for. And anything that has been a sense of worry, doubt, or negativity, that was also part of the plan as those have those who have been a lesson to you they're also learning lessons as well but not for the same reasons as your struggles in life are not easy but somehow some way you always pull through yeah i sense had it not been for your struggles you would have never known how strong and determined you truly are without the challenge because what didn't kill you will definitely make you unstoppable. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.